Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. So, the new way to install trim. So I'm kind of realizing that I'm a little bit out of date. I've been doing things the same way for my whole, since my apprenticeship until now, which has been about 15 years. So, you know, we nail on our casings with a nail gun and do a bunch of faffing about like you've seen in one of my videos. So today I have somebody showing me, he's off camera, but he's teaching me a new method to install trim. And I've heard of this, I'm really interested, and today I'm gonna learn it. So you guys can learn along with me. So right here, we've got a casing that has been glued together with cyanoacrylate, is that right? Did I say it right? Yeah, cyanoacrylate glue, something like that. Anyways, it's basically like industrial strength crazy glue. So what it is, is it's a quick acting adhesive that's been sprayed on one side with this activator and then this gel-like adhesive gets put on the other side. I'll show you guys that later. And it creates an instant bond and it's quite strong. Like I'm actually pulling pretty hard, like hard enough that it should break. So I'm surprised. And that's being able to get full leverage from this way. Now, if I pull much harder, I'm pretty sure it's going to just like hit me in the collarbone. Ugh. No, I can't break it that way. So let's try and break it this way now. That's pretty darn good. Like, look at that. It totally held on there. It had to break the whole thing to come apart. I'm impressed. So this bottom bead held the best and you'll see how that gets put together. So let's try another one of these. I'm going to cut these off fresh and we'll start again. So this is my first time ever doing this before. Now, these pieces of stock are a slightly different thickness. So they're from different manufacturers. So we're actually gonna flip it over and do it this way, which isn't how we would normally do it. Okay, so first I'm gonna spray this activator. Does it need to be shaken? No? Cool. That enough there? Yep. Awesome. Okay, and we've got this gel-like adhesive. And so the way I was just showed to put this on is to use my finger as a guide. I don't think my hands are long enough to use it as a guide, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put one bead about an eighth of an inch away, right there. And then I'm gonna do another one, about an eighth of an inch away. Right there. Hmm, I'll have to figure that out. Right, like, yeah, we got enough? Yep. All right, so there you can see there's a couple of quick little beads of glue. Okay, now what we are going to do is put this together. Start at the tip and make sure it's flat on here. And then just basically use my hands as a clamp, my dainty little piano hands. I don't play instruments. <laughs> I just fall on my wrist skateboarding. So this hurts. It's not that bad. About 10 seconds you said? Yep. Okay, cool. That's about 10 seconds. Yeah, and I got a little bit of spill out so it's getting stuck to the drywall there. So there's some of that paper that we can really quickly sand off. So that's really good. Like right, there's very little lippage at all. And so I just need to sand this stuff out real quick, which is also gonna help flush it up a tiny bit. And if you really want to go to town on it, you can use a palm sander and get these like mirror flat. So I'm impressed with this. I think this is the new way to do trim. I'm definitely impressed. Oh, it comes out really fast. Yeah, because they're cutting off and off. Yeah, too much. Apparently, you can get this stuff at Home Depot. Oh, the 
keep giving it too hard of a squeeze on that first one and too much glue too used to wood glue although this might just be the new wood glue Ah, it's good stuff. Okay. Gonna quickly sand these miters before we get it upstairs. There we go. Love this method. Well, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter, you guys. Um, I'm stoked to learn a new technique. I mean, it's not every day that I learn new tricks. So thanks for watching, Van well, skateboard tricks. I learn those all the time, but it's a good thing I'm actually learning some new carpentry tricks. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter, you guys. I hope you find this method useful. Maybe I can, you know, share more insights as I do it some more. Anyways. Thanks for watching you guys. Also, let me know if you do this method, how does it work? Have you tried this method? Have you not had good results? Let me know in the comments, you guys. Instant bond, basic stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching and until the next video. Let's see how it worked. All right, I like this method. What am I gonna do? Well, I'll nail this. I'll nail this. Midway down. Love it.